Hi, my name is John Kim. I'll be working on trigonometry. This is usually reserved for Ventura High School as well as Woodhill Technology and some parts of, uh, I believe, Buena High School might use this. Uh, this is the fifth edition right over here uh, of trigonometry. This is the one Ventura College uses. Um, as well as this right here, this is the Charles P. McKee. This is the book that Ventura High uses. Charles P. McKee is a pretty famous author. He does a lot of trigonometry, and we're going to be doing chapter six today. Well, first of all, let me put these books away. Um, chapter six, section one. Uh, I'm going to start with some examples here. Uh, save a tree. So I'm going to start with uh, the first section, chapter six, section one. So let's take example number one on page. Uh, what is it? 291. So you have 5x plus 7 is equal to 2x minus 5. Well, we have 5x's on the left side. You have 2x's on the right side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract 2x to both sides. Cancel those out. Add them up. You get 3x plus 7 is equal to negative 5. Subtract 7. Cancel that out. 3x is equal to negative 12 divided by 4. Cancel that 3 out, you get x is equal to negative 5, negative 3. Um, I'm sorry, excuse me, divided by 3 here, going ahead of myself, negative 4, and that's the answer in the back of the book, okay? I mean, in the example. So let's try to do this one, um, example number 2. Um, solve for x, it says, 2 the sine of x minus 1 equals 0. Well, we're trying to figure out what x is first, but we got to get rid of this minus 1 and the 2. So the first thing we do is we add 1 to both sides. Cancel that out. You get 2 sine of x is equal to 1. Uh, what's the next step? We've got to get rid of that 2 right there. So we're going to divide it by 2. Get rid of that uh, 2 times sine of x. So the sine of x, sine of some angle is equal to one half. Well, we have to figure out what that angle is. Sine of what angle is one half? Well, you can do this graphically, or you should be able to know that x is going to be in quadrant one, quadrant two. That's where the y value, the sine is the y value in the y direction. It's going to be positive one half. So we know that that's going to be x is equal to 30 degrees and 150 degrees. X hat, that is the reference angle, is going to be 30 degrees. I'm going to show you a little bit differently, differently on how to get this. We know that at the 30 degree mark, theta is equal to 30 degrees right there. We know that that's 1. That's going to be root 3, and that's going to be 2 on the 3060 uh, triangle, 30, 60, 90. So theta hat is equal to 30. We also know that if there's this way as well, that's theta hat. That's going to be 1, 2, negative root 3. It's going to be opposite side over the hypotenuse, which is going to be 1 half. So those are our two answers located right here. Okay, so let's go to example number 3. Um, just a little bit different. Example 3. 2 sine of theta minus 3 equals 0. And theta is between 0 and 360 degrees. I hope you can all see that. 360 right here. Well, uh, just like before, we add the 3 to the right side, divided by 2. 2 sine of theta equal to 3, and then we divide it by 2, sine of theta is equal to 3 over 2. Well, what angle will give you 1 and 1 half, or 3 halves? In fact, if you look at it, no angle, sine of no angle will give you bigger than 1, so therefore there's no solution. Let's take a look at it. Um, yes. There's nothing that cross. Uh, they did it the way they did it. They did it using the uh, 
graphing method. I don't like the graphing method. Uh, it's a little less accurate. So we actually swapped it out. Example number four. There it is. I'm going to put this on the next page. And um, because it's going to take a little bit longer than expected. Example number four. Find all degree solutions to the sine of 2a minus 50 degrees, which equals root 3 over 2. And it says find all solutions. When it says find all solutions, then you have to add a little, just a little special something. Um, depends on if you want to do it in degrees or radians. I believe they want in degrees. It says find all degree solutions, so you want in degrees. Okay. I'm gonna call for I'm gonna call this data because I don't know what this is. So sine of some angle is equal to root three over two. Well, um, what we can say is that angle, well, what sign of what angle would equal root 3 over 2? Theta must equal 60 degrees. The reference angle is equal to 60. And that means theta is equal to 60 and um, 120 degrees. When they say the word all solution, I'm going to underline it, uh, highlight it in purple right here. All solution is going to be theta is equal to 60 plus 360k and theta is equal to 120 plus 360k. So there it is, the 120 here, the 60 here. Don't forget to put that 360k. We're going to back replace, that was 2a, so it's going to be 2a minus 50. It's equal to 60 plus 360K. Um, 2A minus 50 is equal to 120 plus 360K. To solve for A right over here, I'm going to use pink. Nice and neat. I'm going to add 50 to this side. That gets rid of that. Add 50 to this side. That gets rid of that. And then I'm going to divide it by 2. Divide by 2, divide by 2, divide by 2, divide by 2, divide by 2. And your final answer, this cancels out. A is equal to 60 plus 50 is 110, divided by 2 is 55 degrees, plus 360 divided by 2 is 180K. And angle A for the second one is 120 plus 70, 50 is 170 divided by 2. What is 170 divided by 2? 85 degrees plus 180 degrees K. 360 divided by 2 is 180, and you leave your K. So don't forget, when you have all degree solutions, gonna, when it says all solutions, you have to have 360 K. If it's in radians, it's just going to have 2 pi k if it's in radians. So that's the only difference between all solutions. Okay. Let's see if that's right. I'm going to check it out. Uh, 55 plus 180k, 85 plus 180k. Perfect. I like to box my answers. Nice and col colorful just for you guys. Woohoo! Okay. <laughs> Example number five. Uh, let's chill a little bit. John. Let's use black term again. Example 5. Solve 3 sine of theta minus 2 equals 7 sine of theta minus 1. And theta is going to be between 0 and 360 degrees. So that's the restriction that we put on theta. It's going to be between 0 and 360. So we're going to have to solve for theta, given that uh, theta is between 0 and 360. So let's look at the equation. We're, we're, it's an equation, so we're going to try to solve this out. You have 3 sine of theta minus 2, and you have 7, theta, uh, 7 sine of theta minus 1. So what are you going to do? 
We can either move the three sonnet data to the right side or assign seven sonnet data to the left side. We rather move this guy over because it's a smaller number. So I'm going to subtract three sonnet data, get rid of that. I have to get rid of this one, so I add one, get rid of that. So seven sonnet data minus three sonnet data is equal to four sonnet data. It's equal to two minus one is negative one. And um, to solve for sine theta, I'm going to go, I'm getting um, kind of flustered on this because, okay, got it. They want um, a calculator. So I have to get my calculator out. So sine theta is equal to negative one four. Okay, this is my calculator right over here. I'm going to show you how to use this calculator. Uh, a little bit later on. Oops, that's a sub function. I don't need that. So, sine of theta is equal to negative one fourth. I just rewrote it. Now, what I'm going to do is every time I'm going to try to find what's called the reference angle. If I put a little hat, that's the reference angle. I have to take the absolute value of that number. So, sine of theta hat is equal to one fourth. How do we solve for theta here without using a calculator? Or without, um, what do you call it? With using a calculator. To solve, actually to get rid of the sine of, in, sine of theta, we take the sine inverse to the left side, and we take the sine inverse to the right side. The sine inverse and the sine cancels itself out. You end up with theta. So theta is equal to the sine inverse of one fourth or 0.25. Let's see. It's in degrees, so I'm going to show you how to use this calculator. Let's turn it on. Can you see it? Oh, good. Good lighting. Make sure you're in the right mood. You notice right here, I had in radians. I want to make sure I'm in degree mood or mode. You got to be in the right mood to study. Okay. You got to be in the right mode mood to get your correct answers. So here it is. Um, take the sine inverse. Of, well, can you see a little bit better? Uh, 0.25. Theta is approximately four. Theta is approximately 14.5 degrees. There we have it. Excuse me. Theta hat. That's the reference angle. Now we got to figure out when it's negative. It's negative for the sine in quadrant 3 and quadrant 4. So that angle is 14.5 and that angle is 14.5. To find theta, you have to go 180 degrees plus that, it's going to be 194.5 degrees. And then 360. Minus 14.5, 350, 356, 355.5. Oh, 345, sorry, excuse me. Let me rewrite this really neatly. 345.5 degrees. Let's see if that's right. I'm going to put it back into the equation here. No, I'm not going to put it back into the equation. It's going to take a little bit of time. I'm just going to check it. 